Hey guys, so in this lecture we are going to learn how to add a background music and record your own voiceover. So adding a background music is very easy and simple. You go to music located on the top right of your screen, click on it, and you will get this list of some background music that you can listen to any by hovering on it and click on the play icon that appears beside it. And then you can click stop if you want to. If you decided to set one to be a background music to your animated video, you click on the music title to be added. You get to know that it has been set by this tick sign beside it. You can also control the volume of your background music. For instance, if you are going to make an animated video with only background music, you can make this sound louder. Or, if you want to add both background music and voiceover, then you can lower down the background music so that your audience can listen to your voiceover clearly without being distracted by the background music. If you don't want any background music, you can switch off the music from here. You can also upload your own background music from your computer by clicking on Add My Music here. Okay, now before moving to adding voiceover, I just would like to tell you that on each slide you can see a duration control here. You can change the duration of each slide by clicking on this control and set the duration you want for each slide, unless this slide has voiceover. Okay, now let's create our narration. So here is how to add good quality audio to your Spark animated video. So first of all, you need a microphone attached to your device. If you are using a desktop computer, depending on the model, you may need to connect an add-on mic. Be sure to speak into the microphone and remember that narration should be significantly slower than your usual conversational voice. Notice the microphone icon at the bottom of the current slide. If this is the first time you have used your mic with Adobe Spark, when you click on the microphone icon, your web browser pops up a window asking if you want to give this website permission to access your microphone. Now to narrate that slide, press and hold the microphone icon. And wherever you say is recorded and added to the slide. To help get your narration right, Spark Video provides two visual clues. Above the mic icon is a timer indicating how long your narration is running. When you run over 9 seconds, a reminder to keep it short pops up under the timer. A less useful visual is the animated soundtrack symbol. It looks like it should be providing feedback on the volume of your narration, but all it does is reminding you that you are recording. To stop recording, release your hold on the microphone icon. However, don't stop recording immediately after you finish speaking. That's because Spark Video automatically times this slide display to the length of your video, and you don't want an abrupt slide transition to shop the end of your video. A half second to a full second delay before releasing the mic icon works nicely. To listen to your narration for this one slide, click on the play icon in the lower left corner of the slide. If you don't like the narration, simply repeat the process until you are pleased with the way you sound. Now click on the thumbnail of the next slide and narrate it. Any slide that hasn't soundtrack symbol here tells you that there is no narration attached to this slide. If we go back to the first slide that we have recorded narration to, you would find that it has the soundtrack symbol here. Follow through with each slide until the entire video is narrated. 
If you want to completely remove the voiceover from this specific slide, you click on this duration control and click remove narration. And as you can see, the slide duration will be set back to the previous duration. So this is simply how you can add a background music and a voiceover or narration to your Spark animated video. In the next lecture, we will learn how we can preview, share and download our Spark animated video. Let's quickly wrap up what we have learned throughout this lecture. So in this lecture, we have learned how to add or remove background music, how to record, override, delete narration or voiceover, and how to adjust each slide duration, and this works only in case we don't have any narration attached. I hope you are enjoying so far. Please, if you do have any question or if anything that is unclear to you, let me know by posting your question on the discussion board and I'll reply as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and looking forward to seeing you next lecture.